This is, as you can imagine, a very big day for First Wind. Today marks the opening of our largest wind farm yet to date. Hey. This is a project that's cost more than $400 million. This project is a boon to the state uh, and to the local economy as well. It's the largest wind project in Utah, one of the largest in the West, and it signifies a genuine commitment to renewable power and energy independence. Yay! It's an exciting time to live and to see the innovation and the original thinking, the willingness to go into frontiers that have not been explored, such as this today. The people who studied, designed, permitted, financed, and built this project have never stopped learning, making themselves better at what they do. And I can't begin to tell you how beneficial this is going to be to Pasadena, of having 40% of its energy coming from renewable resources by the year 2020. But in order to do that, we need projects like this. It's amazing to stand here and realize that uh, the lights on the Jay Leno shoe will be driven by the turbines that are turning behind us. Uh, and on behalf of my community, all I can say is thank you. The citizens of Burbank couldn't be prouder than to be uh, part of it. And we look forward to being part of more of it. The first one pulled us together through difficult economic times, got investors, lenders, permitting with uh, Milford County and the state, and then put to, together the purchasing group from Southern California. It seems quite remarkable in this economy to do that. We've demonstrated to ourselves and to the outside world that this project is a success, and we look forward to bring future projects to fruition in a responsible manner, and hopefully with the same spirit that made Milford one a success. Thank you very much. So many times you talk about power projects, and you don't really see it working. But here, First Wind has really developed a project that's going to serve the citizens of my city, and we're looking forward to enjoying clean, renewable energy as a result. Thank you.